So it's gonna be another way, again, of teaching her those basic control of stop your feet, okay? So let's take her forward again, ask her to go around me. All right, some horses will try to push into you. If that's the case, all right, you just take your dressage whip and ask them to, to move away from you by adding more pressure to that, that inside leg. The faster the inside leg, the farther away they'll go from you. All right, good girl. And we're gonna continue this process over and over and over again, asking Olivia to orbit around us. I know she's gonna stop up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, keep walking with me, spot two. Again, when she's in the middle of the body, asking her feet to keep moving forward. I'm gonna ask her to stop here once we get back to the rail because it's a little claustrophobic. You know, she sees this big open hole and she's feeling pressure from me to go forward. At that point, she's gonna say, hey, in her brain, it's gonna say, I need to go faster. I need to bolt past you. I need to be a bit pushy horse. All right, so at that point, we're gonna say, nope, stop your feet. Go around me one more time. And we're gonna do this in sets of five to seven correct repetitions. Right there, she stepped into me. I'm gonna say, that's wrong. I'm gonna add more pressure to this, the uh, cue stick and say, that's keep going forward. All right, I'm gonna do sets of five to seven repetitions. So the horse, correct repetitions. It can't be just five to seven repetitions over and over again. And that's hundreds of times over. It's not just one set of five to seven repetitions. Training is about repetition, it's about consistency, it's about how well does your horse do it, how often does your horse do it, and how, uh, how much you know, time does she really need. So when we come back from break, I'm gonna teach you how to back her up along with this whole process, putting it all together to, so it makes more sense to her and to you. We'll be right back. Have you lost control? Do you wish there was a set of simple steps you could take to regain back the trust you've lost in your horse? Well, there is. It's my basic control DVD. This DVD has all the elements necessary for achieving control and gaining back the trust you've lost. Basic control has six fundamental parts. Each part is designed to give you a better understanding of your horse. And I know you've been longing for a special relationship, and here's where it starts. Go to RyanGiggers.com. Get control, gain the trust you desire, and make that special connection. So get my basic control DVD now. Is your horse giving you the hook, or are you just missing that connected relationship? Send your horse to the National Equine Behavior Center for some expert training by me and my staff. Each month, I take a select group of horses into my training program where they get the personal attention they need. Whether you're looking to hit the trail, excel in the show ring, or just have a safe horse to enjoy with the family, find that connected relationship through my proven training methods. Space is limited and results are guaranteed. So call now to reserve your spot, or for more information, go to my website, ryangingrich.com. Get the very best step-by-step -step guide to helping you and your horse. Get Ryan's new book called Beyond a Whisper. No matter the issues you face, nationally acclaimed equine behaviorist Ryan Gingrich has over 20 years of horse training and encapsulated it in one book called Beyond a Whisper. Years of horse training experience, methods based in science and not old-fashioned cowboy tricks. Real help with proven results. Order Ryan's new book now and save. Order online at ryangingrich.com. After several weeks of feeding E3 Live for horses, I noticed a better hoof, a stronger hoof wall and better material. For horses with laminitis, cracks, shelly feet, I have never seen anything do better than E3 Live for horses. Your horse will feel the difference and you will see the difference. Order E3 Live for horses today. Visit e3lifeforhorses.com or call 877-357-7187. Are you tired of rope burn hands and hanging on for dear life? Well then you need my bolting DVD. I'll spend over two hours teaching you step by step the process that I use to put the woe back in your horse. Whether on the ground or under saddle, you'll be able to safely control your horse in any situation. So stop that bolt before it happens. Go to ryangingers.com and get your bolting DVD now. Welcome back, I'm back here with Olivia. Now we've been working on our basic control DVD. That's go, stop, turn left, turn right, back up and stand still. So one of the things we've been working with uh, Olivia on here, we haven't worked on with Olivia yet, is backing up. Now we've, we've done it, you've seen me do it here in the last couple of minutes, but let's refine it a little bit with Olivia. So what we're gonna do is ask her to go forward, make sure she leads off with the correct leg, okay? Once we're gonna ask her to stop, 
Okay, then what we're doing with the back, the back is nothing more than teaching the horse to have more refined stop cue. So what I'm gonna do is add pressure to the lead rope. As soon as she takes a step back, I'm gonna release the pressure on the lead rope. Add it again, release, add it again, and release. Again, and release, pressure, 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 release. Okay, we'll do that a bunch of times, get her to go backwards. Okay, then what we're gonna do is ask her to go forward again and just see if we can put this all back together, the go stop and turn left, turn right, back up, all right? If she gets sticky on you for whatever reason, all right, you can tap her on the leg and say, hey, go ahead and move that leg. Whichever leg is getting a little sticky on you, just go ahead and tap her on that leg and say, come on back. Then come forward again, maybe do a little circle around me here. All right, good girl. Okay, and stop your feet. All right, one more time back up. Great. All right, now we've really refined with, uh, with Olivia here, those basic controls. Go stop, turn left, turn right, back up and stand still. The next thing we're gonna be working on is shoulder control. One of the things with a pushy horse you'll find is a lot of times when you ask them to go in that circle, they're gonna wanna try to walk on top of you, all right? And I'm actually gonna make her do this here. She's gonna kinda wanna walk here, crowd my space. That's really annoying. That's something I just don't want to see in a horse. So what we're going to do with Olivia here is teach her to go away from you when you ask her to, all right? The way we're going to do that is we're going to take this inside front leg and ask it to step across and in front of the outside front leg. This is really pretty simple the way we do it. So we're going to ask her to go forward and get off the rail because it's a little hard for her to do it there. All right, I'm going to ask her to go forward just a circle around me. This is where that circle is going to come into play there. All right, as she's going around me in a circle here, and as I come back around, I'll show you how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take my, my hand here, place it underneath her shoulder, or excuse me, underneath her neck, and kind of direct her in that direction. What I'm looking for is her to take that inside step and basically cross with the front leg. Just make a, a cross with the front leg and just keep walking and just kind of sidestep away from me. Now that way we're getting the shoulder to move away. All right, so go forward again. Okay, if I feel her getting a little too close to me here, let's say this is too close for me, I can say to Olivia, hey, move your shoulder over, would you please? If she gets to a point where she's sticking again, where she doesn't want to go forward, all right, just stop her right there and say, move your shoulders over, okay? <clears throat> Add pressure, pressure here at a girth line and say, hey, go forward. Now take your hand underneath her neck, as you can see my hand here, and move her that direction away from me. All right, I'm gonna do it right here so you guys can see me again. Move away, move away, move away from me, okay? Move away from me. Now go back forward around in a circle, all right? Now I call this clockwork, basically, all right? What we're doing, basically, is taking this foot and stepping on one o'clock, all right? Saying, step over there at one o'clock and move your shoulders away from me. Now I'll come back to 12 o'clock, all right? Under each foot, and this is all covered in my connection DVD, we'll cover and we'll show you much better how the clock fits underneath each foot and how to move the horse in all those different directions.